Hi everyone, today's June 3rd, 2021. I'm gonna take you through our workout. We have two port parts today. We have a skill portion, and then we have a uh, Macon. It's gonna be a 30 minute workout. Uh, so we're gonna go through, really the skill portion is prepping for the Macon, because we have rope climbs today. We haven't done rope climbs in a very, very long time, but as you know, we just moved our space. We have uh, the ability to do 15 foot rope climbs, which we've never had before, so we're pretty excited about it. Uh, but with that said, we want to make sure we're keeping the volume pretty low. We're making sure we're protecting our legs uh, and making sure that we're getting in good reps. All right, so to warm up, we're going to go through uh, three sets. We're going to go um, 10 up downs. So you're going to go down to the ground, kick your feet back, come back to a stand. Then you're going to do some uh, scat pull ups and some knee raises. So scat pull ups are hanging from the pull up bar from a dead hang. You're going to activate uh, your shoulders, you're going to pull down on your lats, and that's going to bring your shoulders up, and you're going to relax, and then we're going to do some uh, knee raises. So from here, we're going to hang on to the pull-up bar, we're going to pull our knees up, back down, up, back down, all right? And then we're going to do a 50, uh, 100 foot shuttle run, so that's going to be down, back, down, back in the gym, all right? So next we have rope climb practice. So with this, we are practicing a few things. So some of us have a rope climb, some of us don't have a rope climb, some of us uh, may have never tried a rope climb. We wanna to try to get after it today uh, and work on it. So for the warm up, okay, we're gonna start uh, practicing some climbing techniques. So essentially with a, with a <clears throat> rope climb, we're hanging from, from a pull up bar but the only difference is we have an overhand grip, okay? So we're actually hanging onto the rope like this above our head, but we're still still, but we're still thinking about that overhead position, all right? So when we're holding onto the rope, that's what we're doing there, but then our feet are gonna do something different. So what we're looking to do is we have our rope. You look, you're looking to straddle the rope, and whatever leg you feel comfortable with, you're going to wrap that leg around your rope. So from this position, you're getting your knee up, you're getting your leg across, you're wrapping your foot around, and then from there you should hook your toe. So if I had a rope, if this were my rope, I'm going to wrap my foot around, and then from here, if I have a little slack, I'm going to hook my toe in on the rope. All right? Now as you can see, this rope is right here on my shoelaces, and then from there, I'm actually going to, once I have my rope around, I'm going to step on with the other foot. But I know it's a little difficult to show you that I don't have a rope here. Uh, we have the rope at the gym. Uh, but we're looking to make sure we're getting that secured on our leg. So once you have your rope here, you're going to latch your foot on. And then from here, you're going to extend your body all the way up. All right? So that's going to be our rope climb for today. Um, so this could be challenging. So what we're looking to do is work on that um, hook on your foot. We have the side hook. Let's not play around with that today. Let's just try to get our leg wrapped around the rope and pull ourselves up. Now the biggest thing is when you're hanging from the, the uh, rope, so pretend I'm hanging up, hanging from the rope, we want to wrap that foot around. But what we're essentially doing is picking our knees up, wrapping our foot around, and then clamping on with the other foot. So you have that rope in between your legs and you're clamping on there. And it looks very similar to a knees to elbow or knees to chest. All right, so when you're climbing that rope, you, you, that's what you're thinking here. So you're hanging from that rope. You get your foot all the way up with that rope latched in, hook your foot in, and then from here we're gonna extend while pulling ourselves up to get ourselves to start to climb. Then you reach up, pull your knee up to your elbow, wrap that foot around, and then climb straight back up. All right, so we're gonna work on that at the gym. If you're working out at home, and you have a pull-up bar, we're just gonna practice a few sets of knees to elbow, okay? Uh, but that's also going to be our scale at the gym. So we're gonna do leg raises, knee raises, or knees to elbow. We're also going to be doing a leg assisted rope climb. So that would be another thing if we're working on grip and we cannot hang and hold ourselves up. We're actually going to hold onto the rope, we're gonna lean back, we're gonna go hand over hand all the way down to the ground, and then we're gonna lift ourselves all the way back up. So that's gonna be, um, so we have a few options today. So for the rope climb, the standard is going to be climb up to that 15 foot marker, touch that marker and then come back down. You're gonna to complete three reps. Uh, or we're gonna climb as high as possible, come back down. 
making sure we stay safe, all right? Or leg-assisted rope climbs, or we're going to be doing um, uh, 10, I'm sorry, 10 knees to elbow or knees to chest. So what that's gonna look like is if you have your kit, you're getting your knees up to your elbow or up to your chest, or from a straight dead hang, you're gonna pick your knees up and you're gonna back down. All right, we're working on that grip strength, working on that core strength, um, and getting ready to uh, latch our feet on. All right, so that's gonna be our, our uh, practice. And through that practice, we should have our rope climbing standard. So for our back hung, we have an imam for 20 minutes. We're going to be doing three rope climbs, okay, to your standard. Uh, we'll have our scaling options below. And we're going to, within the next two minutes, you, with the remaining time, you're going to do as many burpees as possible. So we're going to get our body all the way down to the ground, get ourselves all the way up, make sure to jump and clap. The next set, you're going to do 40 box step ups. We're looking for cardio. It should be anywhere between 45 seconds uh, to a minute of work. Now we're looking to step on top of box, step back down. Okay, we should be marching through uh, to get a little cardio. And then we're going to be doing as many plate crowns to overhead, 45 pounds for men, 35 pounds for women, uh, 25 pounds for women. Plate crowns to overhead, and dunk, uh, it starts on the ground, you get into a flat back position, stand and pop, bring it back down, stand and pop. All right, so the minutes one and two, you'll do the rope climbs and as many burpees as possible. Minutes three and four, you'll do the step ups and as many plate crowns to overhead as possible. All right. If you are at home and you don't have a rope, you don't have anything to pull up, pull up for, probably gonna do tuck ups. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna be laying down on the ground, overhead, you're gonna bring your body all the way up, tuck your knees to your chest, back down, and up for your uh, workout today. All right. Oh. So that's our workout today. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and make sure you post your score to Shrikawa. Have a good workout.